Hey there YouTube, what's up? Jet Fuel EDC here. Just got a knife review for you tonight. This, my friends, is the Zero Tolerance USA Made 0804 Carbon Fiber or 0804 CF. So, as you can see, ZT, ZT with uh, teamed up with Rexford Designs and produced and designed this this beauty of a knife they did very well i mean this is when you look at this the, this carbon fiber that zt comes out with or uses for their knives is, is phenomenal the uh 0452 carbon fiber beautiful 0450 carbon fiber beautiful i have a 0462 carbon fiber just absolutely beautiful their carbon fiber is it's it's tough to beat so as you can see they're they're blaring the usa made loud and proud i'm not crazy about uh, i mean i love that they're boasting it's usa made but i think that's kind of kind of tacky the way they put it on the pivot there they could have you know put it somewhere else on the knife I mean but it is what it is it's, it's an easy fix it's a it's a small aesthetic thing it's pretty easy so if you look at the knife you're pretty much dead on on the blade centering as you can see there it's running on ball bearings you can see down in there you can see the gold there but it's a kvt ball bearing system you got a titanium handle here with a hardened steel lock bar insert as you can see there and a titanium pocket clip come around here you got your jimped up flipper and an aluminum backspacer got a nice size lanyard hole your pocket clip I wish they would have made a cutout for this to kind of I'm, I'm sure you could probably buy one um, to kind of fill that in a little bit but I guess you know if you filled that in it would take away from the carbon fiber but I don't know that's just my opinion this cut out here I mean it kind of kind of takes away from it a little bit I wish they would have offered this knife and you know I just couldn't I can't see a pocket clip going on on this the show side but that's me um, I'm a right hand tip up carry as you can see this pocket clip is re reversible right or left hand tip up but that's just me I wish they would have offered it like that it it's just it's a it's a shortcoming but another thing I really wish I wish they would have offered some gym or put some jimping on this up here on the thumb ramp here that would have added to the knife a little bit but Let's flip her open. As you can hear, that thing screams out of there. It's like a Nolan Ryan fastball. It's like, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> when I first flipped this knife, I thought there's no way that this knife is not assisted. <laughs> you know, and as I did research and as I looked at it, I'm like, wow, that's, that's impressive. As you can see, the knife, the detent and everything, it just, it falls shut. Once you get it to break right there, get past the detent, it, it just absolutely falls shut. It's pretty sweet. So, you got this beautiful DLC coated drop point blade. 
made in 20 CV steel. As you can see, it's designed by Rexford Designs. Spine's a little thin, but I mean, for that's another thing with this knife. Like I wish that back here it's beefy. I wish they would have maybe the spine of this knife was just a little bit thicker and it had some jimping. These are just some small sort shortcomings of this knife, and uh, this knife it, it's it's great. It really is, it's a, it's a great knife. But these are just a few of the things that I found that make me not love the knife. I mean, I I do, I, I like the knife, but I I don't love it like a lot of other, a lot of other ZT fans. And um, if you go across line, you're gonna find five star reviews on, on this knife all, all day long. And these are just some small things that I noticed and things that keep me away from a five star. I, I really like the knife, but they're just a few shortcomings. But let's get into some length here. Eight and three quarters inches. Um, and the length there open length now let's get uh let's get a cutting edge kind of forgot lost my train of thought there for a second one about three and three quarters cutting length and let's see closed right at five inches yeah, right at five inches. So for eight and three quarters inches, that's a that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty beastly knife. So, like I was saying, they could have just beefed up the spine a little bit here, but yeah, then you do that, and you're gonna you're gonna add weight, and obviously with your carbon fiber and your aluminum backspacer. You're trying to take away from weight, not uh, not add. Let's get the ounces here. Uh, Five point oh four, and if you think about it, what I say, eight and three quarters, almost nine inches. That's a big knife, and that's pretty light for for uh, how big that knife is. So. Yeah, that's that's my take on it. Um, it just, I do. I I like this knife. I really do. But it just had a few things that kind of missed the mark with me. Uh, you know, and that that's my my opinion. Absolutely, my opinion. And by no means am I an expert. I I've only only been really really big into knives the last couple years. Like I've really started to pick up the collecting and you know want to learn more and this is just my my opinion of this knife i bought it off of some crazy i mean not crazy um some some high praises i had a lot of people giving it super high praises talking it up and you know, I may have, I may have already, um, I don't know how to say this. You know, I may have already kind of put it in a category before I even got it. And then when I got it, I, it, it, it made it easier for me to nitpick it. So with that being said, it's still a great, uh, a good knife. I mean, a great knife, but I don't love it. It's not my favorite of ZTs. Um, they, I, I, in my opinion, they have much better to offer. I, I'm a 
huge 562 fan. I love that knife. I like the little 450. I like that guy. Uh, the 462, I'm even kind of crazy about that one. But if you guys own this knife or you've had any dealings with it, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get more high praises and I'll probably take a lot of slack for this video. But like I said, it's my opinion. Um, there's no... Uh, it's just an unbiased opinion. That's all it is. Um, I do, like I said, I do like the knife, but I don't love it. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.